Yo, what's good people, it's your boy, Legendary Show, Nina, and I'm back with another video in the Beginner's Guide tonight, overall. If you've been liking the Beginner's Guide so far, if it's been helping you out, drop a like, man, drop, drop a like, and subscribe, subscribe, yeah, man. Um, but yeah, today's all about the badges, so today, we're going to be talking about where the best places to get your badges are, um, I'll give a brief explanation of some of the badges, um, just to let you know what to do to get those badges um, so the, really the, the places to get badges are either in the team practice facility in my career games in the playground um, or you can have a combination of those places that's really the places to get badges so we'll go over the badges to get in the gym first so the badges that you should really focus on getting exclusively so just in the gym are lot of your shooting badges so limitless range get that in the gym get that first and then get deep range dead eye which you also need to get in the gym you can also get mid range dead eye in the gym um, and difficult shots and tireless scorer you should get in the gym because there's a drill that makes it really easy to get those so I'm going to actually do a video on the difficult shots and Tyler scorer and explain that in more detail just so you guys understand don't worry I got I got um, and that's really it for exclusively in the gym for shooting badges now for inside scoring badges you should make sure that you do um, probably do pick and roll up uh, if that badge is important to you, pick and roll around that in the gym because there's a specific drill for that. You'll get that quite quickly. Um, and then your post moves too. So with your post moves, I would say this is a combination one actually um, because if they're kind of like important to you, if you've got... So when I talk about post moves, I mean drop stepper, post spin technician or up and under specialist. So if those badges are either gold or hall of fame for you, then I would say do it both, do it in the game and in the gym but if they're like silver or bronze you can just do them exclusively in the gym they've got specific drills for them which are quite easy to do um, so yeah, that's really the difference of whether you want to do both or just in the gym for your post moves and then defensive badges so chase down artist and rim protector they have specific drill um, do them in the practice facility um, hustle rebounder again has a specific drill do that in the practice facility you can do that in my career as well if you want it's up to you um, I would say for repping up you don't really want to play defense you, you want the defensive possessions to go as quickly as possible but if you're specifically trying to get hustle rebounder then bang it in both as well because obviously if you're doing it in both you're gonna get the badge quicker and the same goes for defensive stopper defensive stopper you can do that there's a specific drill for that in the gym so you can get that quite quickly but again if you want to speed that up you can do that in the game as well and the last one then uh, this is one for both actually is charge card so charge card again there is a specific drill for that in the practice facility so that's an easy one to get in in the gym and if you have the badge if you need the badge on bronze or silver then just get it there um, but also you're going to do it in the wrap up method anyway so you might as well just do it in both and do it in my career as well so so yeah that's one for both my career and the practice facility so that's really all of the badges that you should be focusing on in the practice facility i hope you either wrote that down or you you memorized it if you didn't then rewind the video and make sure you memorize it or write this down because you need to know that otherwise you're gonna waste the time trying to get mid-range dead eye and just missing hella shots in my career and then you get frustrated and then feel like you're rubbish at the game which you're not you're just doing things wrong so next time we'll move on to my career so which badges should you grind in my career now most of these badges are going to be covered in the rep up method where i'm actually going to show you how to the fastest way to rep up um, and you'll see how I, uh, how you can get these badges when, when you do that so don't worry i got you covered on those so those badges are acrobat teardropper ankle breaker pick and roll maestro 
Dima, Love City Passer, um, Pickpocket, and there's one more, Corner Specialist as well. So all of those badges you get in my career and I will be covering those in the wrap up method. Um, the ones you should get in my career that I'm not covering in the wrap up method are Break Starter. It's a Break Starter. Really, you need to catch a board and then throw the ball past the half court line for Break Starter. That's something you need to specifically try and get. It's not going to be part of the wrap up method. If it's important to you, then I can do a video on that. Just let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Um, also, is Lob City Finisher. So this is really one for if you're doing it in the in the my career it's one for the fast breaks if you get up on the fast break you need to you know self alley -oop to yourself i can do a video explaining how to do that in the most efficient way of doing that for you if you want to see that you already know what to do drop it in the comments um and then posterizer i know you're the one that's going to want to see your posterizer tutorial i know that so don't worry i've got that coming for you so posterizer and difficult shots to tie the scorer i've got videos coming for you for those because posterizer is a fun badge i've got mine on silver and i know you see me catching bodies so posterizer is a nice badge to have brick wall you'll get that as you're playing the game because that's all just from setting screens so if you want to focus on getting that in my career then all you need to do is set screens that's really quite easy and then the last one is bruiser so bruiser you need to get what they call hard hits so that's generally from either a contact block or a foul so a shooting foul um, so that's one that you should definitely focus on getting in my career because if you're doing that in the park then your record is going to be trash and that's not what you want that defeats the whole point of the entire guide to 90 overall because i'm trying to get you to 90 overall so you can jump in the park and dominate that's what that's what we want you to do we want you to dominate so don't try and get bruiser in the park you will get it naturally as you play in the park but don't try and get it in the park because you're just going to be a sellout nobody likes to set up so yeah that's all of the badges that you should be getting in my career so which badges can you get in the park well this one is kind of limited so i'd say pick and roller is a is one that you can you can also get in the park so if you haven't completely maxed out pick and roller don't worry about it you can get that in the park as well uh, because obviously you do need to do set a screen then hit, roll to the roll to the basket get the ball handed to pass you the ball and, and you're through whereas in my career these cpu players do whatever the hell they like you press x you call it for the ball they don't pass to you sometimes you set a screen they go around the screen and shoot straight away before you've even had the chance to roll so pick and roll is a hard one to get in my career pick and pop is also the same um it's iffy in my career you can get it you can sometimes you know they'll go around the screen and then they'll pass it back to you generally only if they're in trouble though if they have a clear lane to the, to the hoop they're going to take it so that's another reason why pick and popper is one to grind in the park um, but also you can grind that in the gym too so it's one of those ones where if if you're not completely finished grinding it by the time you feel like you're ready to go park so by the time you've met all the criteria you've gone through all these videos that i'm about to do for you and you, you've got to that point where you're nearly at 90 overall and you want to hit the park cool cool you don't need to have to come up max you can do that in the park hustle rebounder as well you can do in the park too um, so i would say make sure you've got hustle rebounder on gold first because if you have hustle rebounder it's probably important for your gold and um, you want that on gold before you hit the park otherwise you're not catching points I mean it's one of those things where rebounding is actually a lot of it is positioning like I, I can catch rebounds with my 6-4 slashing shot creator so yeah it's a lot about positioning but if you've got that badge on gold really and truly it doesn't really matter that much about positioning you'll still catch boards over somebody else see so, yeah um and that's really it the only other one would be love city finisher so if you've got a teammate who you're in sync with or you're communicating with they can throw you lobs and you can finish it which is a bit easier than self-alleyed so that's another option 
the Lob City finisher too. So then the last badges are the ones that you really shouldn't be trying to get. They're going to come and you're going to get them as you're playing the game anyway. And those are Brick Wall. You're going to get it because you're going to be setting screens. It doesn't matter what game mode, whether it's my career or whether it's um, Park. Particularly in park, if you're not setting screens in park, I really don't know what you're doing. To be honest, I don't know what you're doing. But there's no point wasting your time trying to get brick wall. It doesn't do that much anyway. It's not like last year. Last year, brick wall was an absolute monster of a badge. But this year, they've nerfed it a lot. So there's no point trying to actively get that. One man fast break. You're gonna get that just as you're playing the game. Anyway, don't actively try and get that. Pick dodger. I mean, if you're not trying to run around screens. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing so you're naturally gonna get pick dodger anyway um relentless finisher you'll get relentless finisher just from playing the game and also if you try and get posterizer you'll get relentless finisher as well that'll be part of the tutorial video so don't worry i got you on that. catch and shoot don't try and get catch and shoot you're gonna get that anyway particularly if you're doing the other badges like limitless deep range that i did you're gonna get catch and shoot so don't worry about that and then the three badges that every single build gets free throw ace glue hands and quick reflexes if you're playing my career you're gonna get free throw ace glue hands you're gonna get in any game mode and quick reflexes you also get too so don't worry about that the only time you should specifically grind any of those three badges is if you're at like 97 or 98 overall and you need the badge to be able to progress to the next level that's the only time that you should ever specifically grab those badges so wow that was a long video man shit so just to conclude then let's summarize this 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 video so we can get out of here man damn um we covered all the badges to get in the gym we covered all the ones to get in my career in the park and the ones that you get as you're playing i already told you that i will do a video on difficult shots and tireless scorer i'll do a video on posterizer and relentless finisher and i'm gonna do the wrap up video as well which is gonna cover most of the other badges so if there are any other badges that you want me to do tutorials on other than the ones that I mentioned Lob City Finisher 2 I'll do a tutorial on that as well that might even be in the wrap up video actually um, but if it's not then I'll do a separate video on that so if there are any other badges that you want me to do a video on let me know in the comments drop it in the comments let me know and I'll do it for you because that's what I'm here for I'm here to help you out um, if you guys like this video if it helped you out you already know what to do drop a like on the video and you know i'm not a genius i'm not the god of 2k or anything like that so if you guys have different opinions on where to grind specific badges if you found a method of grinding a specific badge that contradicts or anything i've said drop it in the comments let me know so i can learn from that because that will help me out well and it might help me out if i'm but it will help everybody who, who's watching this video out so drop it in the comments and let me know um if this video helps you out also you know let me know it's always nice to read nice comments so let me know as well and uh make sure you subscribe you already know subscribe to your way subscribe because i'm gonna have i'm gonna have way more content coming for you christmas nice me i've got a camera now so <laughs> streams are gonna be lit trust me streams are gonna be lit and you know some other stuff in the pipeline for you some little, little collabos and that so don't worry don't worry <laughs> we're gonna get lit on this channel man so stay tuned make sure you subscribe i'm gonna see y'all later man peace